Today's video is going to be on the 176 grain 30 caliber Hornady A tip. Go check out submoashooting.com. They sell sample packs. Might be able to save yourself some money in load development. Uh, we are testing the bullets. I will be driving the high velocity one out of a 300 PRC because that's what I have to, to achieve the highest velocities that I can right now safely. And I will be doing a reduced load out of a 308 simply simulating a longer range shot. I will start with the reduced load. <laughs> Well, that did exit the block there. Unfortunately, there is decent permanent wound cavity. You can see where the bullet definitely twisted in there. That one was going 1,799 feet per second. Definitely tore things up. tape measure on that quick we got where it looks like it more so started opening at about three and a half inches and then that good portion of that permanent wound cavity runs from that four inch mark to the nine inch mark and you can see where I don't know if that bullet may have tumbled as well and you got that nine to ten inches of a little less permanent wound cavity before you got really good permanent wound cavity again and exiting the gel block at 22 and 3 eighths that largest portion of that permanent wound cavity almost right on four inches there and I do have at least three if not four directional tears so I know that bullet uh, had to have mushroomed a little bit when they just tumble you get just the two directional tears so let's flip these around and do our high velocity and there's that aluminum tip even going through that piece of leather and board I really think that's why these tend to penetrate a few inches before they open up. See most of the bullet fragmented in there. Unfortunately, I got an error reading on the chronograph. 
So I'm just going to shoot another round through the chronograph, and if that does not give me a reading, I will have to chronograph some another day and just put it in the comment line. But whatever velocity that hit at, definitely a little too high. Looks a lot like what those 185 grain burgers did cranking them this hot. did read at 3,241 feet per second. So that one that did impact at high velocity here most definitely impacted at over 3,000 feet per second. Um, probably not much more than 3,200 feet per second. 15 and a half inch block. Penetration is Definitely a little long in there, but that's expected out of match bullets. These weren't designed for hunting. They weren't designed to hold together. They do do surprisingly well. Like I've said in my other videos, the grenading little bits of dusted lead and not penetrating through my first block is not common or is common for me in my testing with burger bullets when I break that 3,000 feet per second mark. So just because a bullet's designed for hunting doesn't necessarily make it a good hunting bullet. And just because a bullet is a match bullet does not mean it's a bad hunting bullet. You slow this down, you shoot these out of like a 308 or a 30 6 and they're probably going to make a phenomenal round. Because you have that not really opening up until it penetrates about two inches. And then it just grenades all the way to the furthest piece of a fragment is roughly 13 and a quarter and tearing all sides of the block. So that bullet right there would definitely just dump game right where they're standing, but would probably give you a little bit more blood shot. I mean, a lot of people these days don't really seem to care about what they're eating. It's just as long as it drops where it's standing, they don't care. I do. I wouldn't hesitate to use this for hunting in something like a 308 or a 30 6 Overall, not too bad a performance. Hope you guys enjoy the video.